YouTube. Hope you guys bring out the building shit. Living what God gave you, taking on projects, building, fixing, create. I have an excited video today. We got a new shop. We're moving up from a bus into a 40 foot cargo container. Now, granted, it's just a 40 foot cargo well, container. In the future, we'll pour some concrete. We'll do a nice carport off the side of it. Everybody that follows the channel knows this has been my shop for a while. It's an old school bus and it's been great because I've needed to move it around as I did the the uh, grading on my property as I made some level spots as I laid down gravel etc I needed something that was kind of portable and that I could get out of my way because I really didn't have an entire plan on this land when I when I bought it how it was gonna be set up how it was gonna be laid out I'd never really hung out here I never really knew where the shade was where the breeze is where the where the water collects etc so I just needed to kind of learn oh, she's stuff. a mess right now it's so convenient just to set things inside the door instead of put them away but there's the shop get her fired up smokes a little bit She's mostly sat the last few years. Hopefully, it'll climb up out of here and it's not too wet already. Release the air brakes and see if it's gonna move. <laughs> oh yes, yes, thank you Father. Thank you Father, we got this guys. Oh, come on, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. We got this, guys. We got this, guys. Come on. Come on, baby. about how wide the doors are came marked here on the ground realized that this is about the same way same spot so I backed up to there go ahead and shut this guy down I'm shut off the key too what's up YouTube hope you guys been out there building shit believe in what God gave you taking on some projects building fixing creating you know I don't I don't care what your uh, disabilities are what your uh, history is I don't care about none of that I believe that every one of us has a purpose on this earth and we've got blessings by God and that we can use those to, to help others. Don't be letting this world so doubts and letting mind. haters so doubts in your mind that you're worth less than somebody else or that you know you, you don't have the ability to learn a certain skill or that you're not good enough to to take on a certain project or whatever. Read about it, study it, watch YouTube figure it out your hands you got you got the same fingers that other people do take on the same projects they might get it done a little quicker they might get it done a little better a little fancier they might know some shortcuts because they're a pro but you know what eventually you could be that pro if you put it and put your mind to like that kind of encouraging message consider subscribing so, coming from a guy they spent his entire life locked up being told that he was too stupid too criminal uh too drug addicted uh too too mentally ill etc 
just reading books, watching TV, and dreaming about owning his own land, setting up his own driveways, and installing his own power, and doing all these things. You can too! We're going to be talking about progress on the property. I know that I put up a survey a while back. People wanted to see more property improvement videos, but I'm going to be honest. Then COVID hit, the prices of, of everything just started going up, 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 up. And we weren't going to build nothing with wood, that was for sure. The cargo containers, especially the used ones, has just gone. So I was real hesitant to buy one. I was hesitant. I didn't really want to. But then my family ended up uh, basically pressuring me and saying, no, it's, it's winter. It's time to get you into a better uh, environment. And so... We end up getting the cargo container, but I'm going to show you guys a few things that I've done on the property, getting it ready, and uh, some plans for the future. I told you guys when I did this ditch and I left it kind of jagged and funky that I'd come back in the summer and backtrack it, and I did. I just didn't really feel like it was a vi it was video worthy. You just drive up with your tractor, put your bucket down, back up, and just kind of scrape it along the edges and make it a better V, make it nicer on the edges. After that, I started digging out Mark this. with spray paint uh, on my gravel. Kind of a rough uh, outline of where I need to drag the gravel off of and uh, level this down. So, put the bucket on this morning and uh, started back dragging in this position and pulling most of my gravel off. I'd drag it over this, you know, as far as I could over here, making piles, and then I'd come at it this way and push it up. And so, Got a pretty decent little pile up over here. Not the ideal way to do it. I wish the uh, I would have been able to smooth this out a lot more when uh, we were moving out here. But it just wasn't practical because I needed to fit stuff so we could sell our house and so we could get moved so that we could even afford the things that we were doing because the money was in our house pretty much. But uh, so now using the backhoe and started all the way down there just moving forward a little bit at a time and uh, digging all this down. So here's my pile I got it all dug out of here so I can make a nice flat spot here but uh, got my bucket on I'm just gonna start scooping this out and taking it up by the road to uh, block the water that comes down the hill. All the dirt and whatnot cleared uh, now I've got to unjack up this end of the building lower it down to the ground I'm gonna move the bus and continue digging even though I got cameras and I'm trying to uh, film and record and whatever more I'm just gonna be real it's a little bit overwhelming because I'm learning all of it all at once I, I got a new computer I, I haven't had a Mac I haven't even had a, a computer in a long time really so uh, I'm having to learn all that I'm having to learn the editing I'm having to learn how to you know say transfer files from my phone, transfer files from my uh, iPad, transfer files from different things and, and back and forth from the uh, cameras. I'm having to learn the cameras. I'm having to learn to play some. I'm, it's just kind of a, it's all an over, overwhelming uh, process, but I'm not saying I'm giving up. I know that I've got a lot of subscribers already and I know that the channel is continuing to grow. I appreciate all you guys and uh, especially those that have been there since the beginning. Oh, all the way over here. And I just used my backhoe and I just kept on breaking all this up. And uh, then I pull forward, do it again, breaking it all up. Pull forward, break it all up. And uh, now I got to come back with the bucket again and scoop it all out of there. Build a, you know, like a carport type of uh, structure up here eventually. Alright, you guys, so gravel pile got bigger scooped out and then uh, back blading started smoothing and uh, that area is looking pretty good because it's obviously a hill and I want it to be flat there I want to pour some concrete here uh, probably next summer and some footings for the container and so that we can scooch it over just a little tad bit ran drainage got done with this uh, nice flat spot here I can use as a better work area or whatnot. Trucks aren't trying to roll away on me. I can use jack safer, etc. Um, but in order to keep this drier, I'm going to come up here 
and dig this trench deeper all along here and so the water flows this way and I'll put a pipe across and down to my little culverts. Idled up, had to move all this stuff out of the way, part of collecting junk, but I like things for future projects, my bad. So I'm gonna start with backhoe and just start digging along here and getting this a little bit deeper and sloping it that, that way. A little bit deeper at this end. Now I'm gonna uh, back up a little bit here and I keep on putting the stuff off to the side. I'll probably go up there and kind of mash it down so that it all doesn't end up right back into my uh, ditch. Water's flowing nicely. We checked that with the hose. We've got it good down to here. Uh, now I'm gonna move some of this stuff over out of the way. I'm gonna spread that gravel back down here. And then uh, I'm gonna dig across from here down to two pipes under. This is actually gonna be scooted back though to where those will be accessible or whatever in the future if we ever need to dig them up or replace them. But they're dug down to over here where the rest of my drainage goes. And then it goes into that pipe and across and then over there and all that we're gonna dig down deep. Um, I've already got a ditch over there and that one's the continuation of this ditch which you guys watched me put in that little culvert pipe and across. We're sorting out our drainage. We're getting things leveled up. I've got some more grading to do in here to get it you know better before it would help to have this out of the way to where I could really get good clean passes. So I'm kind of waiting. You guys see me just picking up projects, working on the ramp truck, picking up more junk, driving old Chevy's three hours home. And you're probably thinking I'm back to slacking on the Samurai. And when is this ramp truck video going to be finished? I just got to be honest with you guys. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes that you don't realize. Sometimes I struggle with how to put it into a good enough video. But even though I'm not putting out those videos, trust and believe there's progress going on at the workshop. There's always going to be some sort of growth, some sort of change, some sort of flipping, some sort of buying and selling and trading, some sort of fixing, making profits. There's going to be something going on. Out. Ramp truck build is on pause because my welder kind of took a break. <laughs> getting another welder probably another real cheap one to start with because I'm kind of broke right now but then eventually I'll probably upgrade I'd like to learn to TIG I'd like to learn to stick I'd like to learn some more about welding so that kind of does it for the big property improvements for now I'm gonna have to go and uh, move all my stuff into there now though but then I'll have a bus for sale and then it'll go on to its next home and Service next owners is a nice dry storage and uh, tool storage place or whatever they're going to use it for. All right, guys. Till next time. Keep building shit. Believe in what God gave you. Take on some projects. Build, fix, create. Don't be wetting the haters. Get you down. Enjoyed the video? Give me a like. Helps me beat the evil algorithms.